Hey everybody, Dylan here from Elevated Agriculture, and today we're doing a full tour of the new grow rooms. We're gonna start with the Mars Hydro mini clone tent, move our way into the two x four living soil grow, and finally make our way into the main custom built veg and flower room. This is a fully legal cannabis grow in Ontario, Canada under the ACM PR government issued license. These videos are for viewers at least the age of consumption in their territory and nothing is for sale ever. All right, let's get into it. This is the Mars Hydro 2.3 foot by 2.3 foot grow tent and it's currently housing four clones that I took from my outdoor grow a few months ago. Three of the plants are blueberry finos from DJ Short and the other is a more hard to find cultivar called ice cream cookies. These ladies are living happily under the Mars Hydro TS-1000, which has been set to a maximum of 50% brightness up to this point. I have one fan mounted close to the top of the tent to provide airflow and to keep the plants constantly moving. This helps prevent issues like pest and mildew. To ensure the tent has a constant fresh supply of oxygen, I have an extraction fan mounted outside of the tent. This is the AC Infinity Cloudline T4. This little beast of a fan is capable of moving 205 cubic feet of air per minute and can be set to trigger on or off based on temperature, humidity, or a timer function. The tent is sitting up off the ground on a custom built floating shelf. This helps keep the root zone warm because it's not sitting on the cold concrete floor. It saves my back from bending over all the time and it gives me more storage room underneath. Sitting below the shelf are two 28 gallon storage containers that I'm using as water reservoirs. These are kept full with tap water, aerated constantly by an air pump and bubbler stones. I also have a 12 gallon bucket that I got from a pet store that is actually meant to hold dog food. Because I'm normally feeding six or more plants at a time, I use this for my main nutrient mixing reservoir. To make mixing nutrients easy and to make sure the water is circulating constantly, I have a small submersible pump at the bottom and I'm using a fish tank heater to keep the temperature of the water around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Housed inside the main enclosure is a Mars Hydro 2 foot by 4 foot grow tent. Now, due to my terrible habit of popping like way too many seeds, the timing of the plants and because of the space restrictions in my garage, I had to move this tent into the main 6 foot by 6 foot grow room. This wasn't the original plan and once this grow is over, I'll be moving the tent to another location. The biggest downside of this setup is that these plants are still on an 18 hours of light, six hours of darkness lighting schedule to maintain their vegetative state, while the plants in the main room are about a week into their 12 hours of light, 12 hours of complete darkness flower cycle. This means that the lights are on inside of a two x four tent during six of the hours that the flowering plants should be in complete darkness. Any light leaks from the tent could be devastating to the flowering ladies, causing them to grow seeds instead of flowers. I'll be using blackout curtains and sheets to build a temporary dividing wall between this tent and the other plants just to be safe. <laughs> Anyways, the tent is currently filled with six plants that are growing in living soil. This is actually my first ever living soil grow. Four of the plants are cherry burst by Relentless Seeds and because they were regular seeds, I have no idea if they're male or female. The other two plants are Feminized LA Amnesia, part of the Chong's Choice selection from Paradise Seeds. My hope is that at least two of the cherry burst plants are female and that I can ultimately flower four plants inside of this tent. I'm growing all of my plants right now in fabric pots ranging from three to five gallons. 
I'm going to make a video soon about the benefits of fabric pots versus traditional pots, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified of new videos when they come out. Hanging about two feet from the top of the canopy is the Mars Hydro SP3000 full spectrum LED. This commercial grade light bar provides amazing power coverage across the entire tent and I really think the performance to price ratio of this light is hard to beat right now. I've already made several videos about the Mars Hydro SP3000, so if you haven't seen those yet, head over to the channel after this video and take a look. The airflow setup in this tent is very similar to the clone tent, with one fan mounted at the top to keep the canopy moving and one AC Infinity Cloudline T6 mounted outside as an extraction fan. This fan is actually mounted in another room, vented outside, and is capable of extracting 402 cubic feet of air per minute. I have the ducting run through the wall of the main grow enclosure, and because the tent is inside of the sealed room, this fan also essentially extracts the air from the larger room at the same time. This six foot by six foot grow room was custom designed and built by the Elevated Agriculture Grow Team over the course of several weeks. It's made out of wood, fully insulated on the bottom, sides, and top, and raised off the ground for heat, ergonomics, and storage reasons. We made a four foot door for ease of access to the room, and this has proven to be incredibly useful. The inside walls are lined with 6mm Mylar diamond film to reflect stray light back onto the plants, and while I had originally lined the floor with this as well, I've since replaced that with a silver tarp for waterproofing reasons. The mixed bag of genetics in this room are growing in 5 gallon pots, and they're about one week into flower. Two of the plants, a strain called Friesland, were started from regular seeds and were intended for a breeding program, however, I'm currently waiting for them to show their sex. If they are both female, they'll stay in this room and flower out, but if one or both of them are male, they'll be moved to another location to breed together or to harvest the pollen from. Alongside these plants are two Space Jam OG Phenos, sent to me for free by Future Genetics, thank you guys. A Bag of Oranges Fino by Useful Seeds, and a Space Cookies Fino from Paradise Seeds. These plants all started their life from seed under the TS-1000. They were moved under the SP-3000 for the early veg stage of life, and then moved under a 1000 watt metal halide bulb for the aggressive vegetative stage. Now that the plants are transitioning to the flower stage and will require more red spectrum light, I've switched the metal halide bulb to a 1000 watt super HPS bulb. The light is kept between 24 to 36 inches from the canopy at all times, and it's vented outside of the grow room with a separate AC Infinity Cloudline S6 extraction fan. This not only exchanges the air, but keeps the temperature down inside the room while passively heating the space outside. I'm also running an oscillating air purifying fan over top of the canopy, as well as a stationary fan to move air below the canopy. Additional fans will be added as necessary throughout the flower cycle. Alright, so that's going to do it for our grow room tour today. I will be making more videos on how I'm optimizing the growing conditions in here, seed to harvest videos, and lots more over the next few months, so make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and as always, let's start a conversation down in the comments section and help each other grow better plants.